In this video, we will be replacing this wood wall with a concrete wall. From the looks of it, drainage is the main cause of its failure. After removing close to 40 yards of dirt, our footing is now ready. Most of our footings are 3 to 4 feet wide by 18 inches thick. All rebar is either number 4 or number 5. Check with your local building department for building codes. We will frame this wall using 2x12s. After the 2x12s have arrived, we start by making wood stakes and placing them approximately 4-5 to five feet on center, making sure each one is plumb. This particular job, each stake is approximately 6 feet in height. After the wood stakes are in place, it's time to start setting our 2x12s. Here we are using our rebar cutter to make our L's and cuts. This is a real time saver as well as the rebar tying gun as you'll see in the next shot. Once the back is framed up we start installing either number 4 or number 5 rebar 12 inches on center. Now this can change depending on the wall height or the engineer drawings. Again, check with your local building department. Once the rebar is in place, we add wall ties and we place them approximately 16 inches on center. Well, 12 to 16 inches on center. And they're held together by a metal wedge. Once that's completed, we repeat the same process for the front. Now it's time for the concrete. We use the pump to save our backs. Well, this is the only way to do this project. You see the one guy has a concrete vibrator. This is used to help eliminate any air bubbles and also smooth and even the concrete. The other guy that is standing on the forms is tamping down the back of the footing so that our drainage pipe has a nice and even place to sit. I didn't make it out to film us installing the drainage, but take a look at how to install a French drain in the link below. The same process was used except on a smaller scale. Alright, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please hit the like and leave a comment below. To stay updated on our latest videos, please subscribe and hit the bell button.